Good evening, I'm Melissa Harris Perry, and I'm sorry that I can't be with you to acknowledge and celebrate the ongoing work of the National Center for Transgender Equality. The education and advocacy of the center is vital to trans communities who remain uniquely vulnerable to unacknowledged bias, inequality, and violence. Now, all of us here at the MHP show are deeply honored that the center has presented us with the Media Momentum Award. When we first launched Nerdland, our entire team articulated a, a set of goals for what we hoped this show could accomplish. At the forefront was and is a desire to allow my table to be a gathering place for many voices. If we could do nothing else, we wanted to ensure that we offered a place for people to tell their own stories, offer their own solutions, and enter the public discourse on their own terms. So this award means so much because it helps us believe that we are accomplishing that at least in some measure. So often, trans voices in media are represented as comedic relief or documentary oddities. Far too often, the assumption is that the bodies of trans people are odd and fascinating, but that the ideas, passions, goals, and analysis of trans people are irrelevant. American media encourage cis viewers to look at trans people, but not to listen. So we hope that we can contribute to undoing that impulse of dehumanizing spectacle. And not because of any sense of charitable desire to make life easier for trans people. Our desire to make space at the table, to listen to trans men and women, is because we know that without a multitude of voices, we get our stories wrong. We know that if the table is all white or all straight or all male or all cis, then we will miss crucial aspects of the stories that we care about from incarceration to poverty to sexual assault to international and domestic politics. We bring trans folks to the table because trans people bring needed analysis and perspective with them. And we can't get the story right if we only talk to cis people. It is as simple as that. So we here in Nerdland gratefully accept this award, not because we deserve a reward for our work, but because we will see it as a mandate to continue to strive to do the work even better. Thank you again and good night.